I was making what I thought would be the third and final video of the Tandy 102 and I was going to show how to use the phone modem but I was having trouble so I decided to come upstairs to the closet old gateway with a zip drive it's a Pentium 3 and it has all the classic software on it zone alarm desktop software for my old Sony Clie forgot I even had one of those so I think I had a couple of them real player Encarta Encyclopedia Microsoft Money check um, the properties according to this I last defragmented this drive 4473 days ago which is about 12 and a half years maybe oh it's not due we can it can go a few more years I think but my big point was to try and figure out if I could find a dial-up number for CompuServe and I had to run a phone line to another room so we'll try it here And let's see what happens. I'm going to finish that Tandy 102 video eventually um, based on information I'm finding out here. Oh, look, connecting at 40,000 bytes per second. Wow. Welcome to CompuServe. You have mail. I don't think I'd want to try and upload my video with uh, 40,000 DPS. But this is the CompuServe screen. It doesn't look any different than it did 12 years ago. It's a little pokey. So it's got all the... Oh, I can actually get to the internet on here access the web, search the web, and browse the web's top sites. Access the internet. You're going to the World Wide Web. Pretty fancy. Late 90's internet. Although oddly enough, if, if I lost my cable connection for my other internet and if the wireless services were down, I can technically still get on the internet as long as I have a wired phone system and a, a CompuServe account. So we will just exit out of this. I think we've seen enough. Thank you for using CompuServe. But that's it. Oh, 1990 nine I think gateway computer with Windows 98 and CompuServe. Stop laughing. <laughs>